All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, again, hope you guys are staying safe and hanging in there, all right? We are back with some more of Brother Gordon Lightfoot, 81 years old, still going, man, still going strong. All right, you guys see the title, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitz Fitzgerald. Okay, this is a lyric video. Um, I, I believe this is the one that you guys requested, so we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi. The lake, it is said, never gives up her dead when the skies of November turn gloomy. With a load of iron ore, 26,000 tons more than the Edmund Fitzgerald weighed empty. That good ship and true was a bone to be chewed When the gales of November came early The ship was the pride of the American side Coming back from some mill in Wisconsin As the big freighters go, it was bigger than most With a crew and good captain well seasoned Concluding some terms with a couple of steel firms When they left fully loaded for Cleveland Then later that night when the ship's bell rang Could it be the north wind they'd been feeling? Now, I remember you guys were saying that this is based off a true story, right? Man. You know, um, of course these lyrics are just, you know, this storytelling is amazing. And of course the sound is great, but like, I, I don't know a more perfect voice to, to tell this story, you know what I mean? Man, it's like so intriguing. The wind and the wires made a tattletale sound the wave broke over the railing And every man knew as the captain did too Twas the witch of November come stealing The dawn came late and the breakfast had to wait When the gales of November came slashing When afternoon came it was freezing rain in the face of a hurricane west wind When supper time came the old cook came on deck saying fellas it's too rough to feed you p.m. a main hatchway gave in He said, fellas, it's been good to know ya oh, The captain wired in, he had water coming in And the good ship and crew was in peril and Later that night when his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Man, you know you know, like the captain always goes down with the ship type of thing, but it's like, um, it's some, it's some, you know, I don't want to, I'm not really trying to compare this, but I'm just basing this off of, of what I've seen, uh, that show the last ship, you know, I've seen when, 
when like the water comes in and stuff like that, it's like even like when watching the movie like Titanic, when you seen that water come in, man, and then how you said the lights go out, man, that is some scary stuff. You gotta worry about elect electrical stuff, making sure you're not getting shocked, all this type of stuff, man. It's crazy, man. Wow. When his lights went out of sight Came the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Does anyone know where the love of God goes when the waves turn the minutes to hours? The searchers all say they'd have made Whitefish Bay if they put 15 more miles behind her. They might have split up or they might have capsized. They may have broke deep and took water. All that remains is the faces and the names of the wives and the sons and the daughters. Lake Huron Rose Superior sings in the rooms of her ice water mansion. Oh, Michigan steams like a young man's dreams The islands and bays are for sportsmen And farther below Lake Ontario Takes in what Lake Erie can send her and The iron boats go as the mariners all know With the gales of November remembered In a musty old hall in Detroit they prayed In the Maritime Sailors Cathedral The church bell chimed till it rang 29 times For each man on the Edmund Fitzgerald The legend lives on from the Chippewa on Down of the big lake they call Gitchagumi Superior, they said, never gives up her dead when the gales of November come early. Um, I'm going to have to use my editing skills because there was a, like an ad that popped up in between. So you, you guys might see a little glitch in the video, but I'm going to have to chop the video, you know, like where, where I stopped it and where I begun again. Um, but That was, it's like sad, but beautifully well done as far as telling the story, you know? It, it just reminds me of like when you watch one of those movies, like based off a true story, and they, they pick like the perfect actor to act out the part, you know? Wow. 
that was that I woo, when they said about the wives and daughters, and then that really hit me when they I like I I when he said the bell, um, you know they did the bell twenty nine times for all the 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 ones that lost their lives. I could like I could. I felt that and I could hear, I could just heard a bell go off in my ear. Oh, you know, I, I try to bring joy and get your spirits up, have some fun and get everybody laugh and stuff like that. But every now and then, you know, it's uh really good to, react to a song like this where you can really feel, you know what I mean? And, and just remember to be grateful and appreciative of, of all the little things because, you know, 29 lives, man, just gone. And you always think about those moments, like what was going through their head, you know, in those moments, you know. Wow. Like like I said a while back, years ago, years, years, years ago, I, I really started to understand, like, life and death, you know. But you always just get sad about all the people that you're going to leave behind, stuff like that. But man, that was, that man, he really told that story. My goodness. It's like it almost puts you there in the moment. Wow. Thank you all for that request. But like I said, it's going to be like a little glitch. But I'm going to try to get it to where I didn't really, you know, it doesn't miss, mess up anything. Whew. All right. Wow. Uh. Again, man, you guys stay safe. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, if so, go ahead, like, share, and subscribe, all right? Peace out.